All right, this is the Cop 9000 project. This is the team. I'm Noah Bradshaw. I'm Nicholas Zier. And I'm John Welch. Our problem statement is everyone wants to feel safe in their home without risking physical harm to pets or self when confronting an intruder. We are developing an AI to detect and deter intruders. One of our teammates actually had a close encounter with an intruder. Thankfully, no one was harmed, but they did get robbed and now have anxiety about going to sleep. Our product is for any homeowners that want to feel safe and secure. About seven homes are broken into every minute across the world. All right, so our target customers are obviously going to be homeowners and, uh, and tenants and potentially landlords might want um, people to keep this in their house. And anyone and everyone can use it wherever they want. It is based on um, motion sensors. And we interviewed a mix of people, roommate, Hobby Lobby employee, sales, and on the do all as well. So our first interview was done by Noah. He interviewed his roommate, Jessica. And after talking to her, figured out that it'd be nice to have it on Amazon or another convenient website to ship for either cheap or free pretty quickly. And that Jessica was somewhat concerned about intruders. Then I talked to Angel, who's a Hobby Lobby employee. Angel said that the price range should be less than $100 and it'd be valuable, especially to those worried about intruders. Then Nick interviewed Victor, who's a zoologist and figured it might be a good alternative to an attack dog or another pet alerting you because it doesn't put them in danger and that noise and lights could be good requirements to deter the intruders. So the design must cost less than $100. The design must have audio to scare the intruders and alert the homeowner. The design must get to the door quickly after an unauthorized entrance and that has an additional benefit of kind of uh, scaring away the intruder by advancing towards them. And then the design must have flashing lights, and we went with police lights in the end because it is going to probably deter the best. So up front we have the sonic sensor, basically the eyes of the machine. And we got our, our little sensors on there, a little board, and then it's uh, mounted on a, a little rotating machine there. And then we go back towards the uh, breakout board for the Arduino. We sit in on the top. And that's just so you, you can have more functionality when you're doing have more hookups and connections and stuff. And then obviously underneath that, we have our Arduino board itself, which is mounted on top there. Then to power the Arduino in the back of the machine, we have the battery pack. And that just runs a simple DC system up to the Arduino and gives it enough power to run all the equipment. On top of that, we have our breadboard with lights. And the uh, noise-making devices on top there are wired. And it's just easier to have this piece uh, right there, so that way we can uh, run jumpers from the uh, expansion board all the way back. And then underneath in the carriage, we have our four motors driving four wheels, and plus the other pieces here are just for structure. Is while the robot is powered on, it is idle, waiting for something to come in within 39 inches of the ultrasonic sensor to initiate its home defense protocol. While the ultrasonic sensor detects anything minus a ghost, it will approach what it is detecting with flashing red and blue LEDs and loud sirens. So important and unique features. So this does two things uh, with regards to the sound. We will definitely alert the homeowners of intruders and wake them up and also tell the intruders to leave the premises. It has the potential to save lives by not risking someone answering their front door or getting up from their room, just trusting that the door will cop is going to face the intruder out while they make their escape somewhere else in the house. Uh, this also does come with the benefit of discounted homeowner insurance for having a security system. No recurring payments. So that's one thing that the homeowners that we talk to seem frustrated about is that you get a discount for having a home security system, but it doesn't actually equal saving money since you would just be spending that uh, money on the security system anyway. So this is actually overall going to be saving homeowners money. Basically on the left... I've defined everything and assigned a digital slot setup. It's basically the same thing as defining just what's plugged in where. And on the right, we got digital rights. And this is all of the commands going high when the ultrasonic sensor gets tripped. And it stops when it's turned off or the ultrasonic sensor doesn't detect anything. So we basically hit the nail on the head with our overall design from our initial vision. We were going to have actual speakers on board that would play preset MP3 files, but that would put us over budget, so we had to settle with the buzzers. The material list is basically what the class suggested you buy. It was the 
eLego Uno R3 Project Smart Robot Kit version 3.0 and also the Laughlin Mega 2560 Project Starter Kit. And from both of those kits, we basically used everything out of the Robot Smart Kit minus the Bluetooth module and the code that came on the robot. Out of the other kit, we used the breadboard, six LEDs, two buzzers, six resistors, and 15 wires. And it only cost us $99, keeping us under budget. So for the work division, Noah did physical design assembly, the presentation, coding, troubleshooting, and recording videos. I did the CADing, the code review, the video editing, and the presentation. And then Nick also did the CADing, coding, code review, troubleshooting, and presentation. Okay, so home security is not a new concept. Um, something, something similar has definitely not been done before, at least from our research. Uh, there's not really anything out there that comes to the door and tries to scare away the intruders. It's more of just a passive kind of way about home security. Our design is adding value to uh, something that already exists. So being able to go out and confront the intruder at whatever door that they're breaking into will likely protect your valuables more than if you just had a regular home security system because they can still grab stuff if they're not scared of the cops that have a slow response time of about five minutes or something like that. And then it better addresses the customer needs, right? Because they want to keep all their valuables. They don't really want an insurance claim that just takes time to replace things. So stopping it before it even happens is kind of key. You should definitely invest in our design because we don't have a bunch of executive corporate overhead to fund and thereby our price point can be lower and can improve the quality of people's lives without having to worry much about the profits aspect. We're definitely with the supply chain and how long that's taking right now uh, due to uh, world circumstances and also uh, regional weather. Um, so just having more proactive supply chain management concept uh, would be beneficial to us. And entrepreneurial mindset, definitely reaching out and digging deep and, and trying to get creative. It's a lot easier to replicate something that's already been done before, but sitting down and thinking about ways to go about reinventing the wheel, so to speak, from a conceptual phase takes a lot more brain power. So we worked on that. So something that we would do differently with this project is definitely develop a friend from foe technology. So that way uh, you can set the doorbell cop uh, out and then your roommate or your spouse or whoever is living with you gets home later. They can walk in the front door without uh, being assaulted by the doorbell cop. So after brainstorming for our idea, we easily found target audience. Pretty much everyone can use more peace of mind about intrusion. This also does specifically target people who are anxious about um, home invasions or have experienced that before, but really everyone has that at least somewhat on their mind throughout the year. Our interviews helped us come up with the requirements and ideas for the design, such as the lights. We also encountered some bumps in the road and were somewhat unfamiliar to CAD and coding, but we feel like we've made a pretty great end product that is just a couple of steps away from a refined design. Here's just a reference slide, and it's basically just the eLego blogs, and it's where I got all the codes for all the different parts that comes with the smart robot. The door broke up. 9,000. Got the Dorbo Cop 9000 motion activated home defense alarm system. Just put it in front of your front door. Motion will trip it. Intruders run away. So we're using the eLego Smart Core Robot Kit version 3.0 plus. We basically used everything from that kit minus the default code and we removed the Bluetooth IR remote control. Don't need that because we're automated with 
our ultrasonic sensor. And we have attached a breadboard with six LEDs, six resistors, two buzzers. And we're coming off of the Uno expansion board. Uno is actually down here. But we are piped into the digital pins. And we actually ran into a problem with the design running out of digital pins and actually the motor that independently control the wheels. Some of the digital pins on here are actually being used for that. So we had just enough space to get six lights and two buzzers all assigned independently to not interfere with the wheel commands. And yeah. It's not the prettiest design, but it's functional.